Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com. change for me is that I, I actually have a trainer and I'm actually learning again for the first time and I don't know how many years um, you know I've been doing this all by myself pretty much you know I'd hi- hire a, a boxing trainer here and there and someone to work mitts with me and um, you know I've worked with other fighters and other other trainers and stuff but uh, I, I, I haven't learned anything for years and years because I've just been so focused on getting in shape, uh, working my conditioning and my cardio, and just getting sparring in with, with good guys. So that's all I was doing is cardio and sparring, nothing but that. And, um, you know, that burns you out. And then in between training camps, you don't really feel like getting back in the gym. At least I don't after, after like, that type of work so now it's great because I'm working with Rico again who was my original trainer when I first moved out to California in 2002 and um, you know reuniting with him has just been like it's changed everything I'm completely different I'm enjoying learning now I'm learning all kinds of stuff sometimes I learn too much and it's too much for me to retain but um He's able to teach in a way that that uh, nobody else can. Uh, there isn't a single person in this sport that I've been around who even comes close to having his understanding of uh, just movement, body mechanics, that sort of thing. He can really break it down. He shows you two different things. He shows you the, the extreme finite details. Like all the little, like tiny things to, to change that you might be missing, and he shows you the big picture, the things that are so, so blatantly obvious that that you, you miss them sometimes. So, because um, everybody's just got the in between, it's easy to get the in between, but it's hard to get the overall big picture and the and the fine details. And he's able to to, to teach that really well. So I'm really lucky to be be able to be working with him that's uh it's that's huge for me yeah feel where your head is feel that was your defense you kept your head on the same side so when you step step your head across ah over here yes now turn now you're going to turn his shoulders all the way yeah okay. feel that. otherwise your head's here where's he going to turn his shoulders right, right, again right. there's nowhere for him to go so see how you kept your head in there that's exactly right okay okay it's, it's already done when you reach for here your head should be already to be over so that's why ah uh, okay okay Mac has gotten, I'm, I was surprised when he came here at how successful he's been with the skills that he has because a lot of these guys like that, they just train a lot and they don't try to learn so much. Now he's back trying to learn more because you have to learn. You have to keep learning and learning and learning. The beautiful thing of the thing of MMA is, is you'll never learn all of it ever. Like it's just, you can learn every day, even now. It's teaching these guys, I learned a little bit today. So if you stop learning, just anybody can get in shape, anybody can get strong and do strength training conditioning and then get their minds up. But the technical thing is where everything becomes more efficient. And then you become to focus more and you become more well-rounded. So now that's what I'm trying to do with him because I believe, like I told him, that before he got into the UFC, that's kind of his amateur career. He was on Tough, that TV show. So that's kind of like his single A. The problem is when you get on that show, it's, it's a plus and a minus because then you have to be fed to the wolves because people know who you are. So you're going to be in there, you're going to have to fight main guys. So then after the show, it's a like single A, double A. Now he's got a new contract, he's been off for years, he's got to take it as like it's a whole new career. He's just started your pro career now. Because really it is, and it's hard to make it in the, in the, in the pros, you know, it's hard to make it in the big leagues. It's good to go some tiers. In MMA it's hard because you don't have some amateurs, some independent shows aren't so good, they're too shady. So everybody wants to get in the UFC because then you can get a steady paycheck, you know you're going to be promoted. So now for him, it's a time where he can he can get much better and become more efficient and try to finish his fights and, and beat guys at a higher, a little bit higher level like he was fed before and went the whole distance with. So now hopefully he can do 
do better. It was, right now he's just trying to mature as a, as a martial artist, basically. The more he does that, the better he should become. The thing about Mac Danzig, the, the thing that I like about fighters, I like guys who go out and perform. What I don't like is, first of all, you have these guys who, this is all they do is train 24-7. They want to be a fighter and all this shit. And then they get up into the fight, stall, hang on, try to push against the fence, and all this bullshit, you know? He's not one of those guys. No. He's, one of, he's one of my kind of guys that comes out and goes for it. He's been that way since he was on The Ultimate Fighter, yeah. and he's been that way since he's been in the UFC. He, he's my kind of fighter, you know, and he's, a, and he's a good guy outside of the octagon, too. You know, I'm enjoying it for, for the first time in a while, you know. Really, really, truly enjoying the art, you know, the, the craft of, of fighting. That's, um, that's something that's, that's easy to forget about you know, why, why you started doing this in the beginning, you know, it's easy to forget about that because you're, you're too, too focused on, on all the pressure. And that, that's, you know, like lots of times when I, I do media stuff and interviews with people for shows and magazines and stuff, like all they ever say is like, well, so like, like, do you feel any pressure? You know, like you've had a couple wins, you've had a couple losses. Um, do you feel pressure? And it's like, well, of course I do. It, I, every single guy feels pressure. The guy with seven wins in a row feels pressure. The guy, the guy, the, it's first, it's his first time he feels pressure. Everybody does. It's just like, you know, are you going to let that get to you? And I, I have in the past. I totally let it get to me and it affected my performance. And now I'm like, well, you know, I, I, kn I know, I know that all you can do is, uh, keep your mind right and stay positive. And that's what I'm trying to do, and I'm, I'm enjoying learning again, you know, enjoying learning the art. And that's, uh, that's something that uh, is, is hopefully going to pay off, because I know I'm tough. I don't need the countless hours of sparring nonstop, just getting hit and hitting people and going hard all the time. I, you know, I've been through that. I, I know what's up with that. I don't. I don't need to uh, force that on myself anymore. And uh, if I want to be in the sport for a long time and have any kind of longevity, I'm going to have to start training smart. And that's uh, that's what I've been trying to apply this training camp. Well, uh, I ended up at Black House through my manager. Um, I was lucky enough to have my manager Robert Rivetta uh, talk to Ed Suarez, who runs Black House, and. Uh, he and Ed were, are really good friends, and um, uh, he told him that I needed a place to train and I needed to, to work with some higher level guys, you know, and um, that, I, that I, I, I could really benefit from that. And so Ed opened the doors for me, and uh, uh, it's, it's really great. And uh, I think what's so great about it is you have this large collective of fighters, and they're not all on the same level. You know, you've got guys that are like Hodger Gracie, and you've got you know Diego Nunez and all, all these these fighters, and then you've got some up and coming amateur guys too. So you've got this whole different uh, level of people to work with, and it's it's all a room of enthusiastic guys that are there ready to work. And um, that's that, I think that's what makes it so special is the fact that there's good coaching there. It's regimented, and um, everything is scheduled out and structured properly. And uh, you've got you've got fighters of all skill level there. Yes, Programmet presenteras av betsy.com.